Ace. Six to 14, the bounce. Typically not much is gonna change during this period. You'll probably just see a continuation of the symptoms that have popped up during the first five days. But another really interesting phenomenon that can occur with some people is what we call the bounce. That's when you suddenly feel like you're on top of the world, all of the symptoms from the diseases you're treating stop, and you feel normal again. It could start as early as five days in or as late as the end of the second week and continue for just three days or maybe even a full two weeks. But it's important not to get ahead of yourself. This doesn't mean that you're suddenly cured and you can stop taking all of your medications. Not everyone experiences a bounce, but if you do, it's only temporary. And unfortunately, we haven't yet seen any correlation between experiencing a bounce or the intensity of the bounce that you do experience and your response to therapy later down the line. But it's obviously really nice to experience that break from everything you've been dealing with. So if it does happen for you, just enjoy it while it lasts. Comments from others have been, 12 hours after application of 5NA, I've woken up raring to go with what I assume is a huge worm bounce. I feel the best I have in forever. I'm elated and very surprised. I had no idea things could be this quick. My NA bounce affects increased energy, decreased fatigue, able to tolerate lower temperatures without usual adverse reactions, able to tolerate foods with less adverse reactions, reduction in eczema inflammation, and clear complexion, observed by wife. Increased sense of emotional well-being, increased quality of sleep, had first dream I could remember the details of for longer than I can recall. The bounce is here, started on day 11 of my first inoculation of 5NA. I've slept better than I have since I can remember. My energy is up, my body temperature is up to normal or near normal, but the most surprising thing is the sense of optimism, not something I've had much of after being sick for most of a decade. So I was waiting for the bounce and nothing was happening. Then I realized I feel good. I feel happy. I'm laughing with people at work. So many years of fake smiling. I don't feel hyper. I just feel good. The worm bounce. Holy smokes. At about eight weeks with 35 helminthics on board, I woke up one morning and felt pretty good. And then I was suddenly 30 years old again, instead of a middle-aged guy with MS. Seriously. I spent that day in my shop working on one of those projects that I could only putter with on an MS good day, and by 6 o'clock that evening I realized that I could keep working. So I did. I rocked it until nearly 11 p.m. I was tired by the end, but it was a good tired. The kind of tired you feel after a workout, not the numb, dragging puddle of dullness with no energy tired that is often my reality. I slept like a rock that night, didn't even wake up once and awoke early and refreshed in the same position in bed I'd fallen asleep in. And then I did it all over again. And it wasn't just my body that was 30 years old, it was my mind. It was like my mind had just been professionally cleaned. Brain fog was gone, indecision was replaced by decisiveness, thoughts and actions coalesced and worked together like they're supposed to. The path forward was clear, its execution precise. I actually remembered where I'd last set that tool down. This revolution of mind and body lasted about three days. During this time, I slept soundly and woke refreshed. I had zero craving for alcohol, my energy levels perfect, not frantic and hyper like I was high on pills or meth or something, but simply good and strong and correct. I thought and moved and worked like I was a young man again. And then it was gone. But what a miraculous thing. It's like the friggin' fountain of youth, <laughs> damn. The last time I inoculated with NA, I felt high for much of the first week. I don't know what that was exactly. My inflammation was going down, so feeling like a normal person was like being high or something else. I felt extremely spiritual, for lack of a better word. Suffused with well-being and connected to the universe. Haha, <laughs> too bad it doesn't last. As far as correlation, comments from others have been I got a gigantic bounce and in a few hours went from being incapacitated to tossing back pints of Guinness and playing billiards half the night. Then, once the worms matured several months later, I was a good responder to treatment. I'd say that, yes, the bounce is a good indication that NA will work for you, 
In terms of whether the bounce is an indication of the extent of the efficacy, I would say that it depends on the person, but I would, sus but I would suspect no. I got a bounce of about a day which was nowhere near as strong as the benefits I've been able to realize. From my personal experience, I've definitely noticed that the symptoms I experienced during the first week do tend to carry over to the second week and become a bit intenser. So for example, if I'm sneezing a little bit in week one, I'll probably be sneezing a lot in week two. But there are still a few other additional symptoms that don't pop up until week two. For example, during the second week of my first dose, my bowel movements were a bit softer at one point. I was feeling a little bit lightheaded and dizzy. I was also having some cramps and I could tell that some of the cramps were menstrual cramps but that some of them were actually due to the NA and somehow because I was experiencing them at the same time I could tell the difference between the two of them. Feeling like I'm more aware of smells and I have dealt with some chemical sensitivity. That feeling of being warm to the touch, like your temperature is a little bit elevated but not quite fever. At one point I just started choking on nothing, I wasn't eating or drinking, just kind of out of nowhere. My eyes were a bit puffy at one point, and then I also started feeling like I was high. But with my second inoculation, I noted remembering three distinct dreams on different days, which is really rare. I also tend to feel really drowsy, and at one point I noted that I was too sleepy to do anything, and I started questioning if I actually was depressed, which is something that I'm normally very assertive about that's not my problem <laughs> because my health problems often get mistaken for depression. I again had that feeling of being high, feeling kind of hyper and jittery at some point. I did make it out to run some errands and I was biking a lot and it was really cold out. It didn't bother me at all but I did know that it took me a while to warm up once I got back in. This tight feeling in my throat which is another EOE symptom. Again, bowel movements getting softer. And then I said that I was feeling very inspired or motivated. The next day I also noted that I was in a really good mood and I was able to go out and run errands without having to take any of my energy aids to help give me the strength to make it through. A few days later I was feeling really angry with a couple people, more anxious, and delirious and forgetful as the day went on. With dose 3, I noted feeling achy and sort of an exhausted sleep where I slept for 13 hours, which is really rare. Normally, even though I spend most of my days in bed, I'm not sleeping more than a normal person should. A few days later, I also had that high feeling again. My arms and underarms were itching, and this was actually just a few months after I first had a chronic urticaria outbreak that I had only recently gotten under control, so that was just flaring up again and my toe was hurting. If that's from a past injury, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> in my fourth inoculation, I was having these faint cramps again. Going on for several days, I had this bubbly feeling in my stomach, which is something that I've also experienced with HDC, but again, it feels different when it's in A. And then I was itching around my face and my neck, which is an area that wasn't itching from the urticaria, so that was a bit new. With my fifth inoculation, my eyes were itching at one point, a couple days later I had this warm, fluish feeling. My armpits were sort of faintly itching as the days went on and it seemed to slowly be intensifying. And that is one of the areas that was itching from the urticaria, but it hasn't been an issue for quite a while now. I was also feeling really emotional one night and then very wired, anxious, and then later on angry. The next day I was angry again and actually had sort of an outburst at somebody. Another little trick I can use to gauge inflammation in myself is my navel piercing, which will get very sensitive and a bit crusty when I have any abdominal inflation. So that happens when I'm on my period and after inoculations. And during that point I had both going on, so it was very sensitive. It's very interesting looking back at this now because I did take such detailed notes and I can see a lot of signs where I was feeling like I was in a really good mood or I reacted to something less than I normally would and it seemed like tiny signs that I was experiencing very slight bounce but I've never actually had that full-on bounce during the second week where everything is suddenly 
perfect. Strangely enough, in my case, I actually experienced the bounce around days 45 and 46 after my first inoculation, and around days 44 and 45 of my second inoculation. During those days, I was able to go non-stop all day, and I felt normal. And when you deal with chronic illness, normal is amazing. Unfortunately, I haven't experienced that since, but it also is common that people will experience a bounce with the first dose that then diminishes with successive doses. You can find this information on the wiki page's hookworm timeline under days 6 to 14, the bounce, and the helminthic therapy bounce. If you do experience a bounce, enjoy it while it lasts. If not, don't despair. There's still hope, and I will see you guys in the next installment.